We want to welcome everyone to the uh, LA press conference. We had a great kickoff press conference as everyone gets settled in here. We had a great kickoff press conference on Tuesday at Madison Square Garden. They were thrilled to announce over 15,000 tickets sold within the first week, uh, actually less than a week uh, of, uh, of announcing or being officially on sale. So they were excited about it. We're excited about it. I have to uh, give a lot of credit to Golden Boy, our co-promoter, uh, Camila Stefan, David Lemieux's manager, and especially to David himself um, for accepting this fight. And this is the type of fight that fans respond to. Uh, two middleweight champions putting everything on the line, putting all their titles on the line. You see the belts here in front of us. No rematch classes. It's, this is a, a winner-take-all fight, and that's what the fans like to see. But there's really no loser in this fight with the amount of attention that both fighters have gotten in this promotion. Not just in New York, not just in Montreal where we were yesterday in David's hometown, and not uh, just here in LA. This is uh, Gennady's hometown. For those who don't know, Gennady is officially a resident of Los Angeles now. This is uh, his hometown, and, and we're uh, happy to announce that. And you know, with the attendance here, you can see uh, this is really uh, a tremendous event. Um, with, that, with that being said, I wanted to introduce some of the people that are uh, on the stage today and have them say a few words. Um, I'd like to start with uh, uh, Jose Suleiman Jr., Pepe uh, Suleiman. He's a very close friend of ours, um, carrying on his father's legacy. So Mauricio's brother. And uh, he'll say a few words on behalf of the WBC and the significance of the WBC interim title, what that means in relation to the fight that happens at Golden Boys also um, co-promoting uh, a month later with um, Canelo versus uh, Cotto. Pepe, you want to say a few words? Uh, good afternoon. It's uh, great to be here. Uh, I'm Jose Sulaiman. If you see the resemblance, it's because, yes, I'm his son. <laughs> so, well, uh, the World Boxing Council is uh, very honored to be part of this uh, historic event. This, um, the, the Triple G and uh, uh, Chocolatito double header is, is, is uh, quite a card, and uh, we are very excited to be, to be part of it. Um, you know, the Chocolatito, he's a pride, pride of uh, Nicaragua, and uh, he's bringing back the interest, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, uh, to, to the smaller weight divisions, like in the times of uh, uh, Chiquita Gonzalez and uh, Michael, Michael uh, Carvajal, uh, so, and uh, Brian Beloria, former WBC uh, champion, he's a, 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 a very tough opponent, so we are expect expecting this to be a very exciting fight. Of course, uh, 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 with uh, 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 Geladi uh, Golovkin, and um, uh, this is this is going to be an, uh, a very tough uh, fight. This t very t uh, strong, tough uh, middleweights are are, are going to go at it, and uh, we I don't think anybody expects this fight uh, to go the distance. So this is very, very, very exciting. Uh, there's much at stake uh, with this fight. It's uh, the WBC belt, uh, the, the, the WBA, IBF, uh, and uh, the, the WBC uh, will, will, will order the winner of this fight uh, to go with the winner of Cotto and Canelo fight. So uh, this, is, this is something that has been uh, decided, and uh, it's, a, it's a very good news for, for the world, for the sport of boxing. So we are very, very excited about, about all this that is happening. Uh, so the WBC wants uh, to congratulate uh, K2 Promotions, uh, Golden, du uh, <clears throat> Golden Boy Promotions, and HBO, because uh, this is a very, very formidable card, and it's exactly what it's needed for, for, for boxing. So thank you very much uh, for your attention. Very good luck to, to the boxers, the champions, and uh, the WBC, as my father always say, we're on, on your corner. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Pepe. Your father was a great supporter of the sport of boxing and a very close friend of, uh, of ours, and we appreciate those words. Um, as he alluded to, it's a, this is a great time for the middleweight division. You have the winner of this fight guaranteed to get the winner of Cotto Canelo. And when you have that type of matchup that's uh, within a month of each other, that's, uh, uh, that's a really exciting time for the middleweight division. Um, right now, I'd like to bring up uh, on behalf of uh, HBO, this is uh, Gennady's first uh, pay-per-view fight on HBO. He's fought on HBO eight times. Tony, cor correct me, but I think uh, he's the fastest rising fighter that made his debut in North America to actually make the transition onto pay-per-view. David has been on HBO once. He just had a tremendous performance against uh, Hassan Andam winning the, H the uh, IBF title. And this is the type of fight and the type of show that the fans are going to get value for their money. So to, s to say a few words on behalf of HBO is uh, Tony Walker. Thanks a lot, Tom. And uh, thank you all for coming uh, for the LA launch of this great event. I would like to thank Tom, Bernard, Oscar, and all the staff at Golden Board and K2 who have just put together a tr tremendous show. You don't see cards like this from top to bottom very often, even on pay-per-view. There's no doubt that Golovkin Lemieux is a great fight, full of the excitement and drama that makes, makes boxing so intoxicating to everybody in this audience. And it's a fight that's truly worthy of Golovkin's entry onto pay-per-view. It's a tremendous start. The one stat that I like uh, to see and that's going to be of interest to the fans is that 90% of the wins by the victories by both fighters have come by knockout. And that's a guaranteed recipe for success for, success for people actually buying the show. Uh, taking Golovkin, a world, one of the greatest fighters in the world, adding a champion like Lemieux, guaranteed drama, guaranteed excitement, and great television, which is what we're selling on October 17th. This event will be produced by HBO and distributed by HBO Pay-Per-View throughout North America uh, with a suggested retail price of $49.95. That $49.95 is, is in appreciation for all the Golovkin fans who followed him and supported his career, and they're going to get a great value with a tremendous on the card featuring Chocolatito versus v Brian Valorio, and it's, go it's going to be one of the better values from top to bottom that we've ever done on pay-per-view. I would also like to thank the pay-per-view providers, the cable, satellite, phone companies who have really supported all of our shows. We have Dish Network and Ubiquity here today doing some filming. They've done a tremendous job in showcasing our fights, and I wanted to publicly thank them. Um, we look forward to announcing a full slate of programming on HBO and our digital networks to promote this show in the upcoming weeks as we chronicle the journey that Golovkin and Lemieux will take as we drive towards October 17th. Again, thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys October 17th. And if you can't go to New York, check out HBO Pay-Per-View. We're going to give you a great telecast. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Um, as Tony alluded to, it's not only this great main event, but I think we have the best co-feature of the year and probably that many people have seen of all times, uh, in, in a long time. It um, could be its own main event on, paper, on uh, HBO. You have uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, who made his HBO debut on Gennady's show at the Forum in front of over 12,000 people. He was a hit, an instant hit, with the HBO fans. And they have Brian Valoria, who's uh, had a championship reign himself and is at the top of the flyweight division. And when you have those two great names fighting each other, that's just so much added value for the boxing fans. So with that, I'd like to introduce the manager, a very close friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to introduce him today as Double G. <laughs> It's uh, Gary Gittleson, manager of Brian Valoria. <clears throat> Thanks, Tom, uh, both for um, the introduction and more importantly, 
for the opportunity to showcase this terrific bout on the biggest stage in the world. Um, I also want to thank my friends uh, Kimmy and Mr. Honda. Uh, I want to thank Roman Gonzalez, of course, HBO Pay-Per-View, and uh, last but not least, the WBC, led by the Suleiman family, uh, so capably over the years. We're grateful uh, on behalf of Brian to be a former champion, and we hope after October 17th to regain the title. <clears throat> For a long time, I doubted that this event would, would ever come to pass, uh, not because the fight itself was unworthy, because Lord knows it's, it's going to be a barn burner, but, but because uh, the television, uh, television executives, uh, at least in the United States, were uh, unwilling to go below a certain weight. So the lighter weights were never really showcased, and it was always a, a very difficult proposition to, to get them uh, attention. So in Asia, uh, especially, that's where these guys would, would really end up fighting and showcasing their great skills. Um, it was, um, you know, getting exposure for them was just a, a, a quixotic exercise. Uh, but now we've got the two best flyweights facing off in a world championship fight in a co-feature to the middleweight unification at MSG on HBO pay-per-view, and it really doesn't get any better than this. So if you're old enough, as I am, to remember the Chiquita Gonzalez and Michael Carbajal wars, uh, you're not going to want to miss this. It's a guaranteed barn burner. Um, I can't speak for Roman, but I'm confident that both fighters will be in tremendous shape and will deliver Hall of Fame-worthy efforts on October 17th. Uh, these guys uh, are not trash talkers. They're consummate gentlemen. They do their fighting in the ring. They're really old school. So you'll be hard-pressed to find finer gentlemen or more talented athletes than uh, Roman Gonzalez and Brian Valoria. I know Brian has prepared his entire life for this event, and he's never, be he's never better than when he faces a challenge. Well, this is his greatest challenge, and ladies and gentlemen, it's with, with great pleasure that I, uh, I introduce my friend and my surrogate son, Brian Valoria. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian, the Wine Punch Valoria. Uh, this is, I think, the biggest stage right now in my career. It's far from fighting in the Alameda swap meets and and uh, in clubs that nobody wants to go to. Uh, can't wait to fight in Madison Square Garden. October 17 is going to be a great night with a. Being on stage with Gennady and, and Lemieux and Roman Gonzalez, I thank you for taking the opportunity and giving me the opportunity for fighting, uh, for for me fighting you, uh, Roman. I know when it come October, we're gonna show a great, great fight for the fans. Um, I know I am. I hope you hope you're gonna bring it too. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys um, for all the support who's uh, who's been there since I fought in. Um, on the beach <laughs> in the in Hawaii and 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 uh, on the on beaches here in California, but I also want to thank Tom Loeffler of K2 Promotions for giving me the, uh, this opportunity. Um, the HBO pay-per-view executives, um, I'm gonna show my best uh, on October. I'm gonna show what the Hawaiian Punch is and what I've been training all my life for. I want to thank Peter Nelson and Mark Taffet. Um, my friends Akemi and uh, Mr. Honda from Japan and, uh, and the WBC family. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. I'm training my butt off for the fight on October 17. And I just want to show the fans a great fight. And everybody else on the panel is going to show, show their best. And then uh, enjoy you guys selves. Aloha. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Gary. You can see that uh, Brian's already ready for October 17th. I'd like to acknowledge uh, the co-promoters, uh, Tycan Promotions. Um, Mr. Honda does an excellent job with his fighters. Special thanks to Akimi 
uh, for making everything dealing with Roman very easy. Um, this is a, a big platform. Like I said, he had a great performance at the Forum, now moving to Madison Square Garden under the biggest lights. I'd like to bring up, to say a few words, and to introduce Roman is uh, his manager, Carlos Blandon. Hi, good afternoon. We want to thank God first, and most importantly, thank uh, K2 and all the promoters that are making this possible. Our family, which is our promoter, taking promotions, as they've mentioned before, Mr. Honda, which is Roman's second father, Akemi, Nick, Nobu, and at the same time, HBO for giving us, once again, this great opportunity. Definitely, like Tom says, it's one of the biggest stage, Madison Square Garden. We're just so happy to be once again fighting with one of the best pounds for pounds as co-feature, Gennady. Um, at the same time, we know that Lemieux is also an excellent fighter. We also thank Brian and all of his team uh, for the opportunity. And we believe that this is going to be a great fight, just like uh, Roman gave May 16th. He's also training as hard as possible to give you guys a great fight. And uh, we feel overwhelmed with this opportunity, with the U.S. having received Roman with their open arms. He had fought here before, but um, I think that now on HBO, it's a different, different stage. We're so happy. And at the same time, we want to thank everybody that assisted to this uh, press conference, one of the biggest we've assisted to, and we're just happy. And thank you once again for this opportunity. Thank you, Carlos. So with that, I want to bring to the stage the WBC flyweight champion, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Muy buenas a todos, los medios de comunicación. Me siento bendecido por Dios de estar nuevamente aquí, eh, que HBO me está dando la oportunidad de pelear con un gran campeón como es Brian Viloria. Eh, gracias a Taken Promotion, que lo considero como mi padre, a señor Honda, a Kimi. Y gracias también a cada uno de ustedes que están con nosotros porque ustedes dan a conocer al público y, y vamos a hacer una excelente pelea el 16 de octubre. He wants to thank all the media, everybody that came out here and support the promotions, uh, taking promotions. Uh, Mr. Honda, which is also like his father, he says, Akemi, Brian Belore, which is a great champion, HBO for this opportunity, and everybody else that's here. Esta es la pelea de mi vida. Me ha estado preparando muy bien. Y pues, pelear nuevamente en una cartelera como es Golovkin es una bendición que un buen muchacho que mucha gente lo conoce aquí en los Estados Unidos. Para mí es una bendición estar peleando en esa misma cartelera. He believes it's one of his best fights. He's uh, honored to be fighting once again in the undercard of Gennady. He's an excellent person. He's a great champion, and he feels overwhelmed to be here again. Bueno, eh, invitamos a todo el público que no se pierdan esa gran pelea y pues le prometo a mi familia, a Nicaragua y a toda la gente que vamos a hacer una muy buena pelea con Brian Viloria. Gracias. He says uh, he wants to thank everybody and for everybody to be to tune, tuned in on October 17th. He's going to give one of the best fights he wants in, order, in honor of his family and all his fans in his country, Nicaragua, and he's waiting to give the best fight ever. Thank you. Thank you. Roman is re universally recognized at the top of all the the pound for pound lists, many have them number two or number three, and when you combine that with where Gennady is right now on the pound for pound list, it's a great one-two punch. So we're really looking forward to that, and as Gary had mentioned, these are, that's uh, guaranteed fireworks as well for the, for the co-feature. 
Um, with that, I'd like to introduce, it's my honor and uh, pleasure to introduce, uh, representing Golden Boy, our co-promoters in the main event and of the show. A uh, close friend of mine, we've known each other for many years. We both grew up in the LA area. Again, representing Golden Boy Promotions, Eric Gomez. Thank you, Tom. Um, this is exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Obviously, uh, it proves that when you make the fights that people want to see, the fans come out, the media comes out. And I think I could say, on behalf of everyone here, we're fans first. No matter what we do uh, in our daily lives, what our jobs are, we're fans first. And that's the reason why you guys are here. Because you guys know that this is the best fight. And the two best fighters fighting each other. And that's what, that's what boxing should be. It should be about the best fights. A um, couple of quick thank yous. Uh, Tom, thank you very much. Uh, Tom's been a great partner throughout this process. Um, we made the fight, what, like in three days, Tom? <laughs> Pretty much. We went over details, uh, went over it with Camille, our partner, and uh, we got the fight made. Uh, most importantly, because the fighters wanted to do it. Both guys wanted to fight each other. And that's what's great about boxing is when you have the top guys wanting to take the real fights, the fights that you guys want to see, the fans, these fights are easy to make. They're very easy to make. Uh, I'm proud to say that uh, a sponsor for the show is gonna be Corona, Corona, Corona Beer, Corona Extra. Uh, they've been a great supporter of Golden Boy Promotions. They've been a great supporter in boxing. So I wanna thank them uh, for participating in this event. Uh, all the staff at K2, uh, thank you guys for all you do, all your hard work. Our staff at Golden Boy Promotions, you guys are working very hard. Thank you very much for all your hard work, everything you guys do, you guys believing in us, believing in what we're doing, believing in the big fights, believing in Bernard Hopkins, believing in Oscar. Thank you guys, Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, obviously, uh, Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. What, there's, no, there's no better place to put this fight. Uh, as you know, I mean, they've come out. You know, we've already sold over 15,000 tickets. That's amazing, you know, in this day and age. Uh, where you can just you know stay at home and watch a fight. I mean, people want to come out and see. They know this is a big event, and they want to be a part of history. So thank them. HBO, always the greatest partners, by far the number one boxing network in the world. Uh, thank you guys very much, Tony. Uh, and uh, as uh, Tom talked about a little earlier, you know, there's still some tickets available. Um, tickets are very reasonably, reasonably priced, uh, starting at $50. 100, 200, 300, and 500 dollars to watch a great fight ringside. Uh, they're going fast, so make sure you guys visit Ticketmaster.com or thegarden.com, or you can go to the box office there at the Garden. But believe me, I I, I believe this is going to be a sellout. Uh, obviously, when you're talking about the middleweight division, uh, there's one person that you think of in our era as one of the greatest fighters in the middleweight division and that's Bernard Hopkins. I'm glad that he's with Golden Boy Promotions. He's uh, a partner with Oscar. Uh, we love Bernard Hopkins, everything he does. This is the kind of fight that Bernard would have taken <laughs> when he was in his prime, when he was a champion. These are the fights that he took, and you guys all love him for that. So I wanna bring him up to say a few words, Bernard Hopkins. Thank you, uh, Eric, for those true words. But you know, I, first I want to, again, until we get down to the home stretch, I'm going to continue to say it to Triple G, and also to David Lemieux. Thanks, thanks for boxing. Thanks for my legacy that I built off the middleweight division, and also thanks for taking an opportunity to look at yourselves and say, I want to prove in this division not only by perception, but by actually physically doing it and being undisputed. That was important to me. No, this is not about me, but it's about the history that I believe Triple G and also David Lemieux want to leave for their families and themselves and also 
written down in the DNA of boxing history. So to be here to look at the undisputed fight that's ready to take place come October 17th in Madison Square Garden on HBO pay-per-view, to me is a very, use the word, surreal. Not only to witness it live, but actually to play a part in it as Golden Boy promotion. We set out, boldly said, boldly, write it down, you got a tape, you can play it over. That we want to put the best fights on for the fans and for y'all to do your job to write about it. And what's not good, tasting to your mouth, buds, you write about that also. But we set out to do what we said and we're gonna to continue to do it. And you know what? I gotta respect K2. This is really the first time I've been around, not Abel Sanchez or Triple G and a few other people, but the promotion, the promotion of K2. Why? Because they echoed the call that we put out to all y'all at the beginning of the year in some terrible times. This is another, another reason to understand that we're here for the long haul. We're closing this year out with the bang and boxing. The beginning of the book of reading is great. The middle of it, okay, you remember, but the ending is always something you talk about. And so we want y'all to be talking about this ending of 2015 going into the next year. Yeah, we already planned for things to happen there right now and today. So again, Thank you, Triple G. Thank you, David Lemieux, for doing something that is rarely done in boxing. Unfortunately, a unification, one guy, one champion that we all recognize, whether he's on Golden Boy's side as a fighter or K2. So again, enjoy the fight. I'm not going to repeat what Eric Gomez repeated. Everybody's been doing a job. And I say, sit back, tell your family, tell everybody. If you haven't got a ticket, get one. But I'll tell you one thing, don't miss this fight. Because this fight, to me, has fight of the year, fight of the year written all over it. And get your popcorn before the bell ring. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to, trying to figure out. I was mesmerized by Bernard's words, so I'm trying to figure out where uh, where we were in the order here. No, I was there. <laughs> I was there when Bernard fought at Madison Square Garden against Felix Trinidad, one of the greatest uh, matchups there at the Garden. And and like you say, he left some DNA there in history at MSG, and uh, we're proud to have him involved in the promotion um, as having the greatest number of middleweight title defenses. He holds a record, 20 middleweight title defenses. I know Abel knows about that. I know Gennady knows about that. But Bernard holds the, uh, holds the record. I, I'm going to bring uh, Eric back up to introduce uh, Camille as the manager of uh, David Lemieux. Thank you, Tom. Um, <clears throat> we've been partners now with Camille and I have the Tiger management for a while. Um, He's got a great staff, all his staff. They work very, very hard also, so I want to thank you. Thank you, guys. Virginie, where are you at? Virginie. <laughs> She's very hardworking. Thank you. Um, you know, when you have a great partner like Camila Stefan, who has the same vision as we do, as Oscar De Loya does, uh, it's simple to work together. And he has that. He shares that vision. And he's done many promotions in, in, in the Montreal area, uh, in Canada, and obviously, he lives for these big fights, and, and he, loves, he wants these big fights for his fighters. So it was very simple to, to be able to work with him and to get this done. And there's other big fights we're working on right now, and I think we're going to be successful in getting those done as well. Uh, so I want to bring him up to say a few words. He's the manager for David Lemieux, and that's Camille Estefan. Camille.
Hello, everyone. Um, firstly, I want to echo the thanks that you have heard to all the um, partners that have made this happen without boring you and naming everybody again, but truly all due respect to all these people that are uh, bringing together what I feel is a card that is really a lesson to boxing, to the people involved in boxing. Uh, you know, it takes two fighters that want to fight to, to make these fights happen. And I think both uh, Gennady and David uh, wanted to fight the best out there. When I was speaking to David about the fight uh, being close to being made and we're discussing it, what uh, resonated was the fact that he's a true champion. He said, Camille, you know, the word champion means something. It means somebody that will go forward towards objectives, towards challenges. I want to fight the best. If this guy is the best out there, I want to beat him. That's a true champion. A champion has a meaning, that word. It's not about ducking anybody and only thinking of the business. We've got to think of the fans. So this is, as uh, was spoken yesterday, truly uh, a gift for the fans and the boxing world. Not only Gennady uh, uh, Golovkin and David Lemieux fighting on October 17th, but a fantastic undercard. I love watching Shkolatito fight, Brian Valoria. What an amazing uh, fight that is. And you'll have more news about the other bouts that we're working on that will, should be amazing. Um, I want to give you a little bit of perspective as far as what we're looking from our side, the Lemieux side. Um, you know, we truly feel that October 17th uh, is the day where you'll have a perspective of change. And I know without any ill will or disrespect, um, the WBC, Mr. Suleiman, mentioned the Triple G fight. This is not the Triple G fight. And I know it's not met in any disrespect. It's mostly your subconscious. You know, you've seen Gennady fight eight times in HBO pay-per-view now. Tom saying uh, the fastest tries to the pay-per-view. Well, David Lemieux fought once on HBO and is now in the pay-per-view. And the reason why this is happening is because of both guys. So this is the Golovkin-Lemieux fight. On October 18th, your subconscious will change. You'll start talking about the Lemieux fights. Thank you very much, guys. For that to happen, for that to happen, <laughs> it, takes, it takes an engineer. Um, and we have an amazing engineer, one of the top in the business, great mind, great individual that's so devoted to his sport and his people. And you know, uh, Eric mentioned the mesh that we have together with Golden Boy. We truly feel like a family. Uh, we really do. Um, we're fighting for each other. Well, Mark certainly fights for his fighters and engineers what is to become a great performance from David Lemieux. I want to introduce to you Mark Ramsey. Thank you, Camille. First of all, I would like to thank uh, everybody who made that, that fight happen. HBO, K2 Promotion, Golden Boy, Eyes of Tigers. It's, uh, it's on, uh, I'm so proud to be uh, part of a promotion who um, generate such a f interest from everybody because we give to the fans exactly what they want. You know, we, ne we never lie to David when we bring the name of, uh, of Golovkin on the table, what s the size of the challenge that he's gonna face. You need to truly understand your opponent to start to build up a strategy. If you, you just believe that you're going to win because you're going to win, you're already on a wrong track. You need to truly understand your opponent. And uh, we're facing a guy, an amazing athlete, an amazing boxer who's surrounded with one of the best trainers of the business. We know, we all know that. And I have the chance because I was an amateur coach of Canada for, from 2000 to 2004. 
uh, I know J Mr. Golovkin since he's probably 17 years old. I was there in Bangkok when he won the World Amateur Championship. He, it was amazing performance. He beat in the same tournament Matvey Korobov, Andy Lee. He beat Lucian Bute, and uh, I think it was this Peng in final, right? Like. It was an amazing performance, but I was there also when he, he lost against Gardebek Gardebekov in the Olympic, and uh, also in the test, Olympic test with, with the same Despeng, and I know that that can happen. This is something you never saw uh, as a professional. Uh, you, we, we, have, we all have the idea of the guys who nobody can beat. But he's a, he's a human being like everybody, and he can beat, and now we have eight weeks to make that happen as a professional. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. As Camille said, this isn't a one-sided promotion. When I spoke to Eric originally, when we were talking about making the fight, we both understood this is two champions fighting each other. Two champions bringing their belts into the ring. So there's no A side, B side, you know, it, it, we made the fight in three days, and HBO was putting pressure on us to, to announce the fight on, on their last uh, broadcast, and, and so we signed it. Uh, I was in Germany, and Eric signed it from over here, and, uh, and we made the fight. And um, when you got guys like, like this wanting to fight, wanting to risk their titles, Gennady has always, since he became the WBA champion in 2010, Five years ago, we were trying, we've been trying anything to get another champion to fight him. And David Lemieux is the first one, and his team is the first one to have agreed to do that. Um, echoing Camille's statement is uh, we anticipate a lot of people coming from Montreal to support David. MSG has a demographics of where the tickets have been ordered, and there were a substantial amount coming from Canada and especially from Montreal. So we expect a lot of fans supporting David. Um, getting now to the Gennady side, um, we have the, uh, is it the bus or the plane, the pilot? Abel, Abel really doesn't need any, uh, any introduction. He's really uh, the engineer behind Gennady's professional career and the style that he's developed. Gennady had, as, as Mark had said, he had a tremendous amateur career. He won uh, a couple of world championships, Asia Games, silver medal in the Olympics. So he had a very experienced, he had uh, 350 amateur fights, a very a lot of experience in the amateurs. And so whatever style, like Willie Monroe was a southpaw, moved around a lot. David Lemieux was a huge puncher, completely different style. Than, uh, than Willie Monroe, his last uh, fight. But Gennady has basically seen every style in the ring. But Abel is the one who's taken that gem and polished it a little bit more. And he put his touch on it. And now he fights the Mexican style. That's the aggressive style with the pressure, body shots, uh, overwhelming opponents. And with that, I'd like to introduce Abel, who's got the, uh, one of the best training camps in the world, in Big Bear Lake, Abel Sanchez. Thank you very much. Uh, I think everybody's been thanked except for the fans. Thank you very much for all the support. Uh, this is the kind of matchup that begs for answers. Some serious questions are going to be asked and answered on October the 17th from both of these guys. I am looking forward to matching wits with Mark. Uh, I think we were discussing a little while ago that we have three fights in the next probably five months against each other. So this is the first of three. But uh, I anticipate a difficult fight. Uh, David is a tough competitor. He proved that in, um, in his last fight and the fight before that. Uh, he's a big puncher. Gennady is also. But I, I think that uh, the fans are going to win out on this, uh, on this October 17th night. Thank you very much. Just an interesting note, when you were on a press tour like this, and you're traveling around, we were actually on the same plane yesterday from Montreal to LA, if you can imagine that. So it's, a very, it's been a very professional, a very cordial uh, promotion and tour. Um, but I heard Bernard uh, telling one of the stories to Abel where he fought Lupe Aquino 
a while ago, and that was one of Abel's uh, standout fighters, you know, among the, the many champions that uh, Abel had trained. So when you see how small the boxing world is, and he said he's going to match with uh, Mark Ramsey over the next uh, few months, another, another few fights. But um, it's my pleasure to bring Eric Gomez up again to introduce uh, the IBF champion. You know, when, uh, when we first made this fight, I had a bunch of people call me. They congratulated me. Some people congratulated me. They said, hey, hey, congratulations. What a great fight. I'm going to be there. We're going to buy it. But one of the questions also was, why? Why are you guys doing that? <laughs> um, that was one of the questions, why? And I think that that's a very, very good question. You know, I, I see this fight kind of, it, it resembles... Uh, kind of like David and Goliath. You know, here you have David, <laughs> the IBF champ. When he was, when he was, when he was, when he was young, you know, when he was young, he had a slingshot, right, David? I think he got in, in trouble with the cops one time when he was nine, ten years old, right? <laughs> and then you have Triple G, Gennady, Golovkin, Goliath, right? And you know, back when David fought Goliath, you know, he was a monster. You know, Goliath was, you know, a bully, beating up people in the village, I guess, right? The story goes. And David decided to fight him. Can you imagine when David told his friends, hey, I'm going to fight that guy? <laughs> his friends probably, hey, oh, my God, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you going to fight that guy? He's a monster. He's big. He's strong. He's dangerous. But why did he do it? Why did David Lemieux decide to fight Gennady Golovkin? I'll tell you why. Because he thinks he can win. He thinks he can win when you go into any battle. If you're going to go into any battle, you think, you're, you think you can win. You don't go into a battle if you think you're going to lose. <laughs> Who goes into a war thinking they're going to lose? Nobody. You already lost. But he thinks he can win. And that's what's great about this fight. That's what's great. And that's why hundreds and hundreds of years later, we're talking about David and Goliath. Because David took on the challenge and he won. This fight was made because David Lemieux wanted to take this fight. He said, I want to fight him. He's the best guy. I want to fight him. Why? He wants to be great. And greatness is, is achieved when you have a challenge like this and you overcome this challenge. And that's how you become great. And that's what David wants. He wants to be great. He doesn't want to be a puppet like other fighters that are told who they have to fight. He doesn't want to be a puppet. No, no. Right? Yeah. Other fighters with influential managers that have to be told who to, who to fight. No, he chose to fight Gennady Golovkin because he feels he can win and he wants to be great. And you got to love that. And that's what's great about boxing. So I want to bring him up. He's the IBF champion. You guys know him. He's going for all, these, all this jewelry up here because he feels he can win the fight. David Lemieux. Oh, hello. <laughs> what's up, LA? Super happy to be here. Can you feel the excitement? <laughs> There's a lot of good energy here. Uh, good point uh, pointed out by Eric Gomez. Uh, yes, I do feel, uh, I do know, uh, I believe I can win, but I don't just believe it. Uh, I understand what I need to do to win. I'm not a dreamer, I'm a realist. Uh, I'm not going in this fight because I believe I'm gonna win or I hope I'm gonna win. I'm going in this fight because I know I'm gonna win. Why? Because things I've learned over the years, things I've experienced, things I've tasted inside and outside of boxing. The, I got to know myself in many, very well, and I got to know my abilities and God's gift that I was given, and to use it and polish it in the best possible way I could. And I'm here today because of my great determination and everything I've done over the years and you know all the struggle I had to do. 
Some people have a, have a different pattern. Some people have uh, a more, more difficult course to achieve, you know? Everybody's pattern is different, but everybody, everybody's roots are not the same. And with that, I've came a long way, and to be here, I'm extremely proud, and to be fighting, well, the Goliath of the division. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. <laughs> uh, anyways. So it's, 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 it's an interesting fight, you know. I, I like Golovkin, he's a, he's a respectful guy, he's a, he's, good, he's a good champion, he has good values. But in the ring, there is, there is nobody likes nobody. We're two pit bulls unleashed and we're going to, for the neck. And we're going, we're going, we're gonna give the world what they wanna see, we're gonna give them without no restraint, no, no nothing. But we are two professionals and we know how to do it. And uh, if there's anybody that's up for the challenge to be him, there's nobody else than me. So on October 17th, you will see something great. Make sure, make sure you watch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, David. That really, that really uh, emphasized the meaning of the fight. Eric, is that Goliath spelled with three Gs on it? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> well, before I bring up uh, Goliath, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, I stand up here and speak on behalf of uh, our team. Gennady fights in the ring on behalf of our team. Um, but there's a lot of people behind the scenes on our side that uh, these events wouldn't be possible. Uh, so I'd just like to quickly recognize a few people. First, the, uh, Oleg Herman is uh, Gennady's manager. His, uh, <laughs> him and his brother Max have done a marvelous job. Uh, I actually, uh, they brought Gennady to me where we had the meeting and uh, we worked out the deal. It was, uh, you know, I promised, you know, I'll do my best to promote him in America and this is what we have three years later. So it's been a terrific team. Um, just quickly, uh, Erica St. Philip is my right hand person. She's been with us since. <laughs> she, she's been working with K2 since we did across the street here, Vitaly Klitschko against Corey Sanders, 2004. That was our very first promotion. It was the heavyweight championship of the world. It was also for the WBC title, Pepe. And uh, so then uh, John Hornauer, um, Rondi Nicola, Melissa Moscow. Uh, there's a number of people, but I just wanted to recognize them. Um, the special weapon in Gennady's team is uh, his twin brother, Max, which a lot of people don't really know the history of his family. But uh, Max was also a very outstanding amateur. And a lot of times they would meet in the finals or they would decide, okay, I'm gonna be in this tournament, you be in that tournament, because they were the best in their division. And so because, if you think about this, you put it in context, Max was about 15 minutes younger than Gennady because Gennady is the older brother. He was the one that was chosen to go ahead and become professional and his brother Max stayed home with his parents to take care of them in Kazakhstan. And that's really the story and the secret weapon behind and the inspiration behind uh, Gennady. So with that, I know everyone's said a lot. I'd like to uh, bring up the WBA, IBO, WBC interim champion, Gennady, Triple G, Golovkin. Thank you, Tom. Good afternoon, everybody. I feel I'm home. Oh, wow. First of all, thank you so much. Look at this, just four belts. Thank you very much, HBO Pay Per View. Thank you so much, Madison Square Garden family. Thank you very much, promotions. Gentlemen, this is great deal. This biggest present for everybody, for fans, for TV, for us, of course. Thank you very much for the team. It's an amazing time for us. Yeah, right now, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Right now, I understand Bernard. More respect, Bernard. I understand right now situation, this situation. Pay-per-view, unification, great opponent. Oh, this is amazing time. You know, I don't know who win, because I'm not God. Thank you, God. I promise, 
amazing show because a lot of great champions, Chocolatita Gonzalez, and all the guys, and all champions in this event. October 17, Madison Square Garden. I think great day for sport. Respect sport. Respect my sport. Respect boxing. Thank you, Gatti. You, everybody understand. Everybody look new story, new step to story. October 18. Please welcome to Madison Square Garden, October 17, or Watch TV. Thank you very much. So with that, we'd like to bring up the fighters to pose. I think uh, Bernie will uh, kind of conduct the uh, the order here. First, we can bring up uh, we can bring up uh, Chocolatito and Brian first to pose, and then we'll bring up the, all four fighters together. Are you 
get in, but one. Thank you. 